And we're back. Continue our conversation. I finished my bowl. What's a guy supposed to do? Load another one. So, there's a ritual to this. Everybody's got their own. Because smoking a pipe is a moment of peaceful meditation. At least for me. It's ritualistic pastime. So if this is your first pipe smoking video, this is your how-to. And I'm the shredding piper. Let's get to it. Take your dirty pipe cleaner after you've taken your pick and cleaned all the ash out of your bowl. You take your dirty pipe cleaner. Clean out the ashes. Make sure there's no soot clinging to the edges. This is how you build up a nice cake. Nice and even caked at least. Take a clean pipe cleaner. Run it through there. Make sure there's no blockages in the shank or the stem. Turn it six times. And turn it six times the other way. Should have 12 turns. Remove pipe cleaner A. Return to pipe cleaner B. Run through, make sure you got no pipe cleaner fuzz, nothing in there. Clean. Okay. Now I just blew moisture into my pipe. What are we gonna do about gas? We're gonna clean it again. Reinsert pipe cleaner B after you've thrown away pipe cleaner ink because it's all nasty and dirty now. Six times, six times. That's just me, that's just my weird OCD. I like even numbers, I'm weird. Remove pipe cleaner. Now to the best part, well, one of the best parts, loading your tobacco. Get your bag. I'm smoking some over-the-counter vanilla blend. You reach down in there. You grab a bit, a pinch of tobacco. Not much. You let gravity do its job. Over the bag or over a plate or a tray so you don't make a huge mess and lose a bunch. Then what I do and I just tap it down, let the loose shake of the tobacco just fall to the bottom of the bowl. Press light just to make sure it's all at the bottom. You're, you're building layers here. So the objective with building the layers is so you get a nice even smoke. A nice burn to the bottom because it should act as a furnace. Your coal hits, your coal sits up on the top, but you p draw the heat from the bottom. So it actually, the air is whoosh. Tamp it down a little bit more the second time. I'm using the old school finger tamper because I can't find mine. I probably have a dozen of those check pipe tools kicking around here somewhere. I just can't find them. I also make tampers. I'll probably make a video about that, even though there's not much, too much to talk about, but I, uh, there's a tree in my backyard that we've been cutting down. It's a really nice black walnut tree, and it's got some beautiful grain to the wood that I just can't help but admire. So I want to share it with the world. Your second layer should be tamped down slightly fir more firm than your first layer. Your first layer should be springy and nice and loose. Second layer, a little firm. Draw it. Should be like drinking through a straw. Well, slightly less resistance right now than drinking through a straw. And then you load your top layer. I'm just loading a little bowl right now. I'm not loading the whole thing because, well, I don't need to make an hour long video. No, this isn't a very big bowl, but I smoke pretty slowly. Then you tap down your top layers. The most firm. And after you're finished tamping down your top layer, it should be like drawing through a straw, drinking through a straw. If you're having a bit more difficulty than that, your draw might be too have much have too much resistance, and you're not going to be able to smoke well. It's going to keep going out. You're going to have a bad time. 
So just pick it out into the bag and retry. There's no shame in that. Dump it and reload it. I can't tell you how many times I've had to reload a bowl because I've overpacked it. It's an epidemic. All right, so now we get to lighting. And this is a process all in and of itself. Just like drinking through a straw. I don't want to get any brands in the video. I don't have any licensing. Um, it's focus friendly. So, now lighting. Take your Zippo, your pipe lighter, your matches, whatever it is. I'm using a Bic or a Kib. Licensing. Just gently. You don't have to light it hard. And that's your charring light. It creates this little bit of carbon char that becomes the coal. And from there, using a tamper preferably, but you can use your finger. Actually, I might have a tamper in here somewhere. Let's see. I'm going to lean out of shot for a second. I could have sworn I just had that thing. Ah. Uh, so we take our tamper, and we just tamp it lightly. No, I'm not using a marker. You don't want to use plastic to tamp, or that could ruin your bowl. This is metal. So you tamp it down. Nice, even, nice and light. little resistance to the dry. I must have pushed it down into the air hole a little too much so I'm just gonna run the pipe cleaner through just to free up. Yep I definitely did. That air hole a little bit. Got a little tobacco in my mouth. Okay now the true light. This is the first light. If, you're, if it goes out after the first light relight it. Relight it, keep on puffing. Like diamonds. And just puff on it, smoke away, enjoy your pipe. See? Already looks like it's going out. But by focusing the airflow using my fingers and my trusty tamper, we're right back to life. Develop a comfortable smoking cadence. Don't puff too fast. Puff too fast, it's going to get too hot, you're going to get a lot of tongue bite. Not fun, especially with aromatics. You got that casing, usually it's Cavendish, and that's not actually tobacco, that's a process. Usually it's a lot of Virginias in aromatics, which have a high sugar content. Went out. What do we do? I just relight it. Who cares? I'm not in some slow smoke competition. I'm enjoying my pipe at my house. That's it. 
as I was saying, Virginias have a lot of sugars. And that smoking that really hot, really fast, those sugars get right in, in your grill, and those burn really hot, and they cause tongue bite. And tongue bite threw me away from aromatics. I hated them. And there aren't a lot of aromatics I enjoy. I tend to stick to vanillas and cherries if I'm smoking an aromatic. And other than that, I like Latakia Forward English Blends. And Virginia and Perique blends. But if you give me something with Latakia in it, I will smoke it all day, every day. Latakia, a lot of people don't like it really smoky like leather and campfire and just really it's an acrid smoke is a good way to describe it but when it's properly balanced it has quite it actually can have a quite pleasant room note in the in concert with the blend of orientals and a touch of perique it can have an incense-esque quality. But I don't have any Latakia. And that's sad. I have this vanilla Virginia, that's what I'll call it. With a touch of black Cavendish. So, what are your favorite blends? What are some questions that you have that you would like me to try and answer? If I don't know it, I'll find it. I'm a fan of straight pipes. What, how about you? Straight or bent? Briar or Meerschaum? Clay? Metal? Whatever you like to smoke out. Talk to me. Let me know how you feel. Favorite basketball team? What do you think about the Kevin Durant injury? What kind of guitars do you like? As always, keep smoking, keep shredding, have a good one. Peace out.